Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you'd been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Where can I find this Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. They're running medical studies on Norali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity, and this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Bacha, and now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Bacha. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers.
word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show them the merchandise. Yeah, that looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Nobody died. I could shoot someone if it'd make you feel better. Nah, I'm good. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Bothering you, General. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Oraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. 
Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women, Kate. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling, though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you are just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you. If you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else. But it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I went very 
fairly often when it was still the Arkham. Yeah, ever since this took over, I don't go anymore. It seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. The Embassy Lounge isn't bad, but they don't have any decent entertainment. It's run by bureaucrats. They probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get. <laughs> You're probably right. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. So how are you liking your posting at the Academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Looks like whoever it was bounced the signal off a hidden relay. I'll trace the new signal. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. To go. Goodbye, Commander. As best I can tell, the receiver for the new signal is somewhere on the Presidium. This must be the signal's endpoint. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. What the hell is that? Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Can't we resolve this peacefully? What are you, crazy? It's an AI, like the Geth. It would kill us all if it could. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, 
I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Are you crazy? I am not. I wished to escape. But I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Biotics, an artificial intelligence, is a self-aware computing system capable of learning and independent decision-making. Creation of a conscious AI requires adaptive code, a slow, expensive education, and a specialized quantum computer called a blue box. An AI cannot be transmitted across a communication channel or computer network. Without its blue box, an AI is no more than data files. Loading these files into a new blue box will create a new personality as variations in the quantum hardware and runtime results create unpredictable variations. The Geths serve as a cautionary tale against the dangers of rogue AI, and in Citadel space, they are technically illegal. Advocacy groups argue, however, that an AI is a living, conscious entity, deserving the same rights as organics. They argue that continued use of the term artificial is institutionalized racism on the part of organic life. The term synthetic is considered the politically correct alternative. 